Welcome everyone to some more Maple Story. Today I'm gonna do the rest of the Grand Athenaeum content, which includes four, five, and six. Six being the new one from the Awake update, which I will do on my main. That'll be later, and uh, we're just gonna get started. But first, time to switch screens. Because we're going to be focusing on story content, naturally. Oh, and before I forget, I adjusted the audio, so sound effects are louder. Which unfortunately means, um, when I upload the VOD, like, obviously I'll cut out the battle stuff. It... Because... One thing I do wish that ends up being a thing is that the monster sound effects are separated from the regular sound effects. Because... The thing is, base sound effects are attached with monster noises. Um, obviously button clicking. And the voice acting. So I'm like... I wish at least the monster sound effects is separated because they, it gets loud. So when that happens, please be aware of the noise, like, because it'll get loud. Anyways, let's get started. Also, I'm doing four and five on this character and then I'll do six on my main because I did these two on my main already. Pretty sure I did them all on my main. Anyways. Okay, sound effects are on. I thought it is never mind. Anyways, so this one I don't remember when it was released. Or this one, I forgot. But they were obviously released years later down the line. And that's also another thing, as I said in my previous stream. This is going to be the second time I experienced these two because I've only played them once. And obviously when I play this one, it'll be the first time. So anyways, let's move along because these take so much time to do. Anyways, episode four, Winter Bard. There are names that vanished in the snowstorm centuries ago, leaving behind nothing but a lonely old instrument and a sad song on the air oh and also um a lesson i'm gonna take um from my previous stream i'm going to be muting my mic if there's voice acting so if it's quiet like you guys could raise it and you won't hear some random noise in the background that'll be the plan this time it'll part of experimentation because I am still adjusting audio with Maple Story, so. Okay, do you want to read episode? Yo, yes. Enter the story once lost to the snow. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Uh. What was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I'm going to read the dialogue, that's what I want to say. Just like last time. If there's no voice acting. When I was a boy, I would ask people, Do you like the snow? Most people dismissed me outright. Some even grew angry. Here in El Nath, where it snows year-round, we had always known cold and hunger. They were part of our identity. We lived our lives in a never-ending war against the pair, generation to generation. Episode 4, Winter Bard. Oh yeah! As I also said last time, the voice acting is more balanced for at least, like, four onwards. I think. I haven't seen six, so I can't really say. Some believe the snow was our punishment. Maybe it was. 
After all, mankind has been performing terrible deeds since the dawn of history. But me, I never saw the snow as a punishment. Call it stubborn optimism. To me, snow is... Love. Love? It's beautiful and pure. Don't you like it? Well... Sir, our forces are in position. Signal for the attack. Yes, sir. What's that? It's a warning beacon. What for? It was created spe It was created specially by the Dragon Master. It, if ever we are in danger, the end of this world, it will notify us. Our world is ending even as we speak. What is the Dragon Master doing? We were living in a time where the end of the world never seemed far off. Humans were always destroying things. And as for me, I couldn't claim to be any different. Our harshest winter is nearly upon us. But our shelter has been destroyed. Where will we send the my myriad refugees? It seems shelter is scarce these days. We fought for a king we'd never seen. As a child, I really thought the war would end someday. It was years before I saw the truth of the world. But what could I do? Um, what is it, kid? Harp? Only 500 mesas. That looks like a qual quality instrument. Yeah, I'll take it. I didn't realize you enjoyed playing. Oh, yeah. I always wanted to be a bard. Didn't quite work out, though. Things never do in this place. So... Now what? There's another civil war happening in the neighboring country. Shall we go there? I'm done with all of this. You should lead the mer you should lead the mercenaries. You keep saying that, and one of these days I might take you seriously. I am serious. Try not to starve, okay? What? But where are you going? Sir? Sir! Why is this place so unbearably cold? It should be here somewhere, but I don't see anything. Ah, I finally found you. Come here, cutie. Hmm, something doesn't feel right. What's wrong? What's making you angry? Uh, should I come back later when you're calmer? Oh! What? That music? It's so calm now. It has a cub nearby. Dig it. Oh my gosh. The noise outside my house. <laughs> Let me reread the line. It has a cub nearby. 
They get pretty aggressive when they're protecting a cub. Yes, I can see that. Who are you? Me? Just a bard passing through. I haven't really picked a stage name yet. I didn't ask for your stage name. How did you make it this far without proper winter gear? Ah. Uh-oh. One of the strings broke. Damaged the harp when I hit it. Mylar is going to be upset. No! It took me three days to find that. What do you do that for? Achoo! I did it to save your life. Your lips are blue. Come with me. You could use a hot cup of tea. But... I'll help you capture a different one later. For now, you need shelter before you catch worse than just a cold. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess. A flower. Ill-suited for the frigid cold. What was her story? Who could say? This world never made much sense. Hmm. Winter Bard 1. I tell you to hunt for food, and you bring back a woman. Only you. I'm freezing. I found her at the gorge. She needs to warm up by the fire. I'd agree with you, except that we just ran out of firewood. We can gather more. I guess I'll go. Oh, good. Because I really didn't want to. <laughs> There's a volcano bug nest nearby. You could probably get some there. Why is there a volcano bug nest here? Seems they move in after per Perion's volcano went dormant. And some volcano bug monsters. Okay, get the firewood. Okay, so reminder, um, I guess I don't have to mute myself because the, because the balance in the audio is much greater than it was in the previous three. Which makes me wish they kind of update that, honestly. Like, at least, like, make the balancing better. And also, uh, beware the audio getting loud here because it will get loud for the enemy hits. Okay, we're done. Also, because this is the second time I'm experiencing this, I will probably leave the sound effects on from now on, for the most part, because I actually don't know when the cutscene happens. So, it's been years, so I actually don't remember which specific points cutscenes happen. You got the firewood? Good. I'll get the fire going. Oh yeah, while you were out, my lord came back. Ah, perfect timing. Okay, my little mini Mar is like moving like crazy. Winter Bard 2. What's the what's the news, Mylar? Well, I heard some oaf broke his harp again. The situation was out of my hands. I'm lucky my harp's the only thing that got damaged. And what then, might I ask, is your sword for? Harps are not for battle. Harps are for music. What can I say? I like to improvise. Don't take care of your sword either. It's going to waste, you know. The sword will be perfect until the day I die. Besides, I hardly ever need it. You needed it just now. I'm 
going to need pine resin to fix the harp. Oh, you can get that from large beetle monsters. <laughs> I mean, I can get that from large beetle monsters. You can thank me for fixing your harp by tracking down what I need. Consider it my contribution to the musical arts. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, ten should do the trick. Okay. Okay, that's done. Okay, I think we're getting close to a point where I will not do this anymore, like... You know, mute the sound effects for battles. Okay. That was quick. I'll get this fixed right up. Hmm, something smells good. Hayes managed to catch some snow rabbits. They'll be ready soon. That was wonderful. Perfectly prepared. Sir, you should have some as well. You need your strength in this cold. It's only going to get worse. Ah, let him be. The boss knows when he is when he needs to eat. Boss? Are you soldiers? Retired mercenaries, actually. We, ju we just go where it suits us now. Of course, way back, we used to be big leaders. But it's just you three left now? From our company? Yeah, the rest all went home. But how do you end up out here? Me? I'm collecting unique animals for the Ark. You know, for the end of the world. End of the... Uh, she might not be well. She's not even dressed for this winter, for this weather. Can you blame her? This place gets even the best of us. You know I can hear you, right? Anyway, I'm fine. This is a real problem that we need to be worried about. Well, you're not wrong. We can't survive in we can't survive if the world continues like this. Why? What did you hear? Someone called a black mage has joined the fight. Black mage? So, he finally revealed himself. With things so chaotic, a lot of people are turning to dark magic. You shouldn't pay attention to rumors. It has nothing to do with us. Well, we should stock up on food before war breaks out anyway. I think we're near the Lion King's castle, too. What about your promise? Promise? Oh, right. Okay. Rumbling Savor. You were supposed to help me capture animals for the Ark. Perfect! It won't take long. Well, I'm off. Where are you going? I'm just going to get that thorn bear, thorny bear cub for her. The Lion King's castle is near the thorny bear den. You should check it out while you're there. Sure. It must be cold. It keeps snuggling up to me. It thinks you're its mother, and now I've kept my promise. But this is too small. A little further, and the Lion King's castle will come into view. Where are you going now? Something doesn't feel right. I need to go and check. Hey, I told you this one's too young for the Ark. It won't adjust well. Hey, are you listening? Ah, the Lion King's castle is burning. 
I stood spellbound. The Lion King was an idol to the men of Elnath, a beacon of courage. His castle stood sentinel atop that narrow peak, the symbol of a man without fear. And his castle was burning. War had returned. Hello? Is anyone here? That's strange. Where have the soldiers gone? It must have been attacked, but where are the intruders? Something's wrong. You shouldn't go in there. You might not come back out. My music is inspired by my life. What kind of bard would I be if I never tested my bravery? Is this about your music? You can't perform if you don't survive. No good will come from entering that place. But will, will, will you... If all we're going to do is stare at this castle all day, then I'm going to find those animals myself. I was doing just fine on my own anyway. I'll follow her. Send up a signal if anything goes wrong. Let's go inside. Sir, wait! What? Keep your sword at the ready. This will be dangerous. We'll see about that. I said that I was looking for a tail, but that was just an excuse. A dormant instinct awoke in me. It told me that here, there was something to truly fear. I had to be sure. Hmm. Let's go check it out. Okay, enemy spawn. Okay. There's none right now, like, getting in the way, so... I think this is going to be the point where I'll keep the sound effects on and we'll just cut it out. Um, because it'll get loud. The Monster of Lion King Castle. Sir, have you seen this type of monster before? No. Where did they come from? There must be dark magic at work here. What happened to all of the soldiers? This doesn't feel right. We should get out of here. Wait, I think I just heard someone scream. Mylar, can you use the spell to find them? Possibly, but if you couldn't already tell, it's a bit difficult to concentrate here. Hmm. There it is again. We must be close. But I can't identify the location on sound alone. Looks like we've got no, no choice but to reduce the number of nearby monsters. 200 should be enough. Oh boy. I'll prepare. Do not let your guard down. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm detecting a human life form nearby. Okay. Magical detection. It's just beyond the tower to the right. Good work. Keep it up. I'll be right back. Okay, be careful. Oh, yep, beware noise. See? Beware the noise. A oh, soldier. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Wake up. The. Nah. A frightened survivor. Stay back. What happened? You've got to help. There's something horribly wrong here. Hey, snap out of it. No, stop. Go away. This guy is in no fit, no fit state to talk. Even the worst winters don't... My god, the phone's ringing. Even the, mo the worst winters don't cause people to shake that badly. Maybe I'll calm down if you 
clear out the nearby monsters. Okay, 200. Anyways, we're done. Let's turn in the quest. This must be some kind of divine punishment. There's no way he could have survived such a serious wound in his back. Tom, Jeffron, Recon, my friends. Hey, what happened here? The Lion King, the evil shaman, shamaness, shamaness? Lion King, shamaness? What are you talking about? I want to go home. Stay with me. Raiden Survivor 2. He's gone. This is more complex than we anticipated. Perhaps Mylar will know more. Perhaps there's more to the left. Oh god, pretty loud. Okay. Be wary. Sorry about that. <laughs> What did you see? Heavy stomps. It was the soldier that fell behind. He suffered a fatal wound. Oh no. Let's get out of here. There's no one left. And I didn't come here to play a funeral march. Actually... What is it? I've detected two more survivors in the inner castle. More? Yes. I know we should leave, but it's fine. I'll take a quick look. Go through the tower to the top floor of the inner castle. Then I should go with you. No, you're clearly exhausted right now. It's too dangerous. Nah, I'll wait here then. Send up a signal if you have trouble. I will. Okay. Seriously, I hope they consider putting the sound effects separately um, for the monsters in the future. Because it will certainly help me very much for, like, recording and commentary stuff. Okay. We said, where are these monsters coming from? Yeah, so cases like this is where I'm not going to mute because it is a stage like battle thing. Once splendid halls were in ruins. Red hot flames danced across the castle grounds. The fountains flowed not with meltwater, but boiling lava. What had they felt in their final moments? This is horrible. How could anyone have survived? How was the revenge mission? Too easy. I dare say my talents could even outshine the black mage. 
Do not make such bla blasphemous claim. His power is beyond your imagination. The Black Mage? I knew them at once. These were the perpetrators of all this destruction. Run! My instincts shouted. Yet my feet trudged forward, one step at a time, deeper into the castle. Well, now that you've gotten your revenge, it's time for the real battle. What's the plan? Preparations are complete. On our signal, all commanders will commence with a coordinated attack on the rave. The city is still prepared for an attack of this magnitude, let alone a surprise attack. It will fall easily. That's no war. Indeed, it will be an absolute slaughter. Much like the retribution you took against your enemies. They're going to attack a reeve? And now I think we should introduce ourselves to our uninvited guest. I'm surprised they got this far. Oh. You know, it's rude to eavesdrop. I know your face. With all the- With all the enemies you fought, I'm shocked you remember me. Indeed. I guess you'll be the next to fall by my blade. Should've listened to that gut instinct and gotten out of here while I still had the chance. Oh, don't leave. What- What kind of host will we be if we don't- Didn't offer you a shelter from the cold? No, I... Hands off. They're mine. What makes you think you can take me? I remember you had unique skill with a blade. Can you still offer me a true challenge? There's only one way to find out. It seems your skills are as rusty as your blade. What's this? It's becoming the beast he's named for. I swung my blade and desperately searched for answers. What had happened to this man? To this country? I had to run. Perhaps I could distract him. What powers might that witch possess? Could I break past her? As I weighed my options, the Lion King spoke. It was I who destroyed the cities of El Nath. Is that true? Now I have your attention. Yes, I gave the order to conquer El Nath. How is that possible? All of this, all of the destroyed villages, the lives lost. It was him. It was all too easy to wipe out those pathetic people. You're out of your mind. You're supposed to be the paragon of knights. Not after the sickness monsters took everything from me, my people, my kingdom, even my beloved wife. They took everything. How does that justify what you've done? It doesn't matter. I have nothing left to lose. So, you chose to become a monster? Then there is no hope for you. None. You will never earn forgiveness for such heinous acts. Huh. I do not seek atonement. I feel no remorse for my deeds. And you are not blameless either. How many men died at your hands during your mercenary days? Do you truly believe you are of, you are above reproach? Ugh. We don't have time to waste. Finish this. Who are you, mercenary? I prefer to know the names of my victims. I won't give you the satisfaction of knowing. Farewell, then. I told 
you not to come in here. At least you have the world tree, but you don't interfere in the human world. Well, this time it's different. I require the aid of this human. Stop. I can see. The whole world is burning. Hey, snap out of it! Hmm. Must be experiencing some shock. We're right after all. This is the end. Oh, so now that it's happening, you believe me? The Black Mage is a transcendent, just as I am. What is he going to do? He seeks the ultimate darkness. It would mean the end of all life in Maple World. Ultimate darkness. Sir! Wake up! I had a dream. That I was walking in an endless snowfield. Those fallen in battle. Rose one by one in penance for my crimes. Poor fool. Look upon the horrors you have wrought. What did you fight for? I asked. In the end, it's kill or be killed. What did you die for? I asked. One day this war will surely end. I asked. Do you think we will be forgiven? The Lion King scoffed. There is no forgiveness or redemption for people like us. <sighs> Looks like the wagon finally gave out. Perhaps you should have been more careful. Well, I could have used a little help. Oh, you know, an old man like me wouldn't have been much use. Don't pull that old man act with me. I know you're more sp sp spry than you let on. <sighs> okay. Hundreds and thousands of children. Oh dear. Sir, you awake now? Where are we? How long was I out? We've joined the evacuees. People survived? The Lion King's army wiped out Elnath, but there are always survivors. What about Alicia? Where is she? I'm here. You know who I am now. Why are you worried? That woman is the only reason you made it out alive. Right. Thanks. I did it because you still have a promise to keep. I need full-grown animals for the Ark, not cubs. I was devastated. That horrible memory replayed itself before my eyes. That child from five years ago. I wonder what they look like now. Were they a casualty of this unending war? Or dead from cold and famine? Or perhaps they're out there wandering in the snow. Once more a refugee. Just like thousands of other displaced children. Music is beautiful. Hundreds and thousands of children, too. Look out! Monsters are attacking from behind. Run for your lives. They won't let a single one of us live. None of the refugees will make it if someone doesn't stop this. Refugees need time to escape, but how? Hey, Mylar, gather anyone who can fight. I'll buy us some time. But sir, you haven't fully recovered. When I awoke, I took up the sword I thought I would never again wield. And before long, I was running back toward the battle I had never wanted to fight. Oh 
Okay, but where are your ears, everyone? and save him after all. Sir, are you okay? We have to tell everyone. It's not just Helnath. They're going to wipe out the wipe out the whole world. No one will have a chance. Even if you do get the word out, who could stop them? I don't know. There must be someone. Hayes, Mylar, send up a signal. Gather everyone who can fight. Where will you go? The only place we can. The Dragon Master's Tower. The Dragon Master said. He had built a watchtower to warn the people when danger struck. Could he have prevented this? We'll never know. Alicia said, The Black Mage is the transcendent of light, but he yearns to become the transcendent of life. Transcendent, Dragon Master? These titles are foreign to me, as are their meanings. I never concerned myself with anything beyond the world in front of me. So I decided to focus on the journey ahead. We would travel to the Dragon Master's Tower. Is this it? I've never seen it up close. Is it true that the Dragon Master made it? Yes. All of Maple World will be able to see it when it's activated. How long will it take? Five magicians are required. By myself, it could take as long as 15 days. That's a long time. Once I begin, the magic here will certainly draw their notice. But that means... They will descend in greater numbers than we've seen yet. There's no way the Lion King will ignore this. I must remain here. You and Hayes will have to take up the fight. I understand. Look on the bright side. <laughs> you won't have to listen to me scolding you about your harp for a while. How do you know I won't miss it? You might not survive without your sage wisdom. I'm going to investigate. You should speak with the soldiers. All who, all who are gathered here. You the one in charge here? Can you take orders from a retired mercenary? Our country is in ruins. Rank means little to us now. What about your loved ones? We're all that's left, and we're here to the end, this once and for all. It's just as well. This will be dangerous. We may not survive. We're here to do everything we can, win or lose. And you speak for everyone? Yes, you are a legend and a hero. It would be an honor to fight with you. These are truly great warriors. Alicia? She went up the mountain to search for animals. 
She plans to stay for the time being. I see. Who'd have thought the transcendent of life would ever show up in a place like this? Hm. For the mother of all life, she sure is grumpy. I hope she's more careful out there than she was when I met her. Why are you worried about the transcendent? She spent all her power creating the Ark. Right now, she's no stronger than the rest of us. If you're concerned, you should accompany her. I'll keep an eye on things here. You think? Sure, you can help the soldiers secure rations while you're out. Just head to the right. Hello, sir. It's an honor to meet you. Uh, sure. I'm here to help you procure rations. We can certainly use the help. The mountain turtles are, breed <laughs> are breeding and very protective, which is making it difficult for me to collect their eggs. Okay. Think you could gather some mountain turtle eggs for me? Okay, ten. Okay. But where are your ears, everyone? <clears throat> okay, done. Here are the eggs he wanted. Uh, sir? Yeah? You probably don't remember me, but years ago, you saved my life. I wanted to thank you. Ah, I see. You saved hundreds that day. Nearly everyone here has you to thank for their lives. You must mean the battle in the gorge. It happened near here, didn't it? Yes. After that, no one ever heard from you again. I couldn't bear the war and death any longer. I had to leave. The sacrifices you made are always remembered, always valued. Thank you. Have you seen Elisa? That woman? She passed by earlier, saying something about animals. I told her it was dangerous, but she insisted she would be fine. Said something about being a transcendent. Yeah, she's not your average human. We should probably head up to catch her. Oh, and sir? We've gotten in a lot of snow recently, so there's a pretty high risk of avalanches. You may want to be careful. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Uh oh. Like we're going to be in danger. Shh! Quiet! What's going on? I want to bring the curly cow to the ark. But it's really skittish. Do you want help? Curly Cow likes the sap from insectivore slime. If you pop a bunch of them, you might lure it closer. I don't think we do. I don't think we need to rush into hunting other animals just yet. It's not that big of a deal. They release a ton of seeds when they pop, so they'll hardly be affected. Ah. I assumed you'd know something like that, being the mother of all life. As the mother of all life, I don't like to harm any creatures. Just go get some slimes. Good for you. Okay, we need 200. Okay. Okay, be ready. Right. We got the curly cut. We got curly cut. Curly cow. But why are you here? I promised to help you, didn't I? Here, take this. It's a list of all the nearby animals and their habitats. It should make things easier for you. I guess there are some humans who keep their promises. Isn't this what you saved me for? 
Well, yes, but... I couldn't just leave you either. The mother of all life can ignore a creature in trouble. Sometimes that includes humans. Hmm. If only our kindness extended to humans more often. Well, if I helped all humans all the time, I wouldn't have any time left for the other creatures. I see. I ought to be going. This place should be should stay safe from monsters as long as we hold them off down by the tower. Wait, are you really going to fight the Black Mage's army? We'll do what we can. It seems the wars among humans are never really over. I fear humans may battle themselves into extinction one day. Humans may be my children, but I cannot condone such destructive behavior. But... Don't you think they could change one day? It takes time, but humans have their times of peace. There's no reason we can't have one in the future. Please don't give up on us. She was suddenly quiet. In the following silence, there was no telling what she was thinking. Hopefully she understands. Perhaps she sees that we are not beyond hope. We're just lost children trying to find our way. Every child needs a mother to watch over them and guide them. What's her situation looking like? Not easy. We're short rations, weapons, and arrows. But our biggest problem is we're short of pe short on people. One good thing we're we've got going for us is that the gate is high and sturdy. Are there any explosives? Explosives. Yeah, some, but not much. We could buy some time if we blow up the bridge. It would only be temporary. The distance across the, across the gorge is narrow. Hmm. Sir, we won't last a week like this. We should retreat. Plan for the future. A snowflake? Hmm. Snow. A good sign. Here we go again. I think I like it more every time it happens. Surely the storm is due to the wrath of the gods. Perhaps the gods were not aware. Snow alone won't stop us. Is this why we still haven't taken the gate? Uh, the storm is particularly strong. And they've figured out how to use the ice against us. They're quite adept at fighting in the cold. No matter, we will still defeat them. Take the off offensive. Wear them down. Reinforcements will arrive soon. Yes, sir. Something about this isn't feeling quite right. I'm sure you have things in hand, though. I'll leave you to it. I'm not used to this cold. Do as you please. Mercenary. Still trying to light the beacon. Are you and your ragtag army still holding out in that decrepit castle. Hope. In some ways, I envy you. This won't be easy. But we have to try. At least, un at least until the main their main force arrives. I hope Haste can do this. Up already? Aren't you exhausted from fr from fighting all night? I'm fine. What's the situation? The enemy is swarming the gate in the west. We can't hold out much longer. 
Will you go support him at the Western Gate? Of course. It sounds like they could really use to help. Thank you. Okay. 200 monsters. That ought to so that ought to slow them down. Okay, again, beware your ears. It's going to get loud. Well, The walls are sturdy. We just have to keep them from climbing. Okay, done. Thanks. You were a big help out there. Let's rest and recover. It's only a matter of time before the next wave hits us. I think someone just fired off a flare. You're right, sir. The Eastern Gate. Looks like they need backup as well. I'll be back soon. And the slipperiness. The wall in the east. If it gets any cracks, it might create footholds for the enemy. We can only we can only hope they don't notice. Okay, we're done. We've managed to break. We've managed to beat them back for now. That's a relief. The western wall is in critical condition. If it takes any more damage, it'll be the first to fall. Do what you can. Yes, sir. We'll repair as many of the cracks as we can. And make sure our enemies don't notice. The last thing we want to do is expose our weaknesses. I see a signal beyond the mountain ridge. Hayes' detachment must be returning. I guess we're out of time. Is there anything else we can do? We're fine for the time being. They're not on the off they're not on the off offensive. Myler is looking for you. You should go see him. He's waiting inside the tower. <clears throat> In my throat. A lot of reading. Which is, you know, why I'm not talking too much so it could pre preserve my voice for the reading. You came. What's our status? It's almost ready. It will activate around midnight tomorrow. Mylar, are you okay? You're not looking so good. I'm just a bit drained from all this. What's the status with the battle? Tomorrow will be crucial. The Lion King's main force will arrive tomorrow. I sent haste to delay them as much as he can, but we've run out of time. Don't worry, we've got good soldiers out there. If we made it this far, we can hold out a little longer. We can only hope. We've got a backup plan in place, so there's a chance we there's a chance we can still survive this. I have to say, this battle is bringing back bad memories. Don't worry. If we succeed, we'll save a lot of lives. Of course. Sounds like Hayes is back. Why don't you see what the word is? Keep it up. Hmm. It's good to see you back in one piece, Hayes. Any casualties? We lost seven. I see. May they rest in peace. Once I saw we couldn't hold them anymore, we retreated. Their main force will arrive tomorrow. Good work. Then tomorrow will be our last stand. Did you see Elisa? Alicia? Sh she joined us as we returned, yes. Seems she found enough creatures for our ark. Good. Why not get some rest tomorrow? Tomorrow's battle will be our last stand. I couldn't recall the last time I cried. A single tear rolled down my icy cheek. 
It blew away on the wind, but its warmth lingered for some time. Sir? You, uh, you okay? Of course, but I fear tomorrow's battle cannot be won without great sacrifice. Is it true tomorrow will be the end? Do you think we can last against such great numbers? If we survive this environment for centuries, we can survive a day against that army. We're nearing the end. Is it ready? I'm nearly out of power, but there's only one left. And I won't be sorry to get out of this cold. That's a relief. Also, I saved a spot for you. What? I saved a spot for you in the Ark. Oh. These humans, all they know is war. They know hope as well. Hmm, perhaps you're right. <laughs> well, goodbye then. And don't die. I'll come back. Wait. What? I know you can't really help us, but could you maybe do something for me? What? My harp. Could you pass it along to someone who will appreciate it? But you said your dream was to be a bard. I finally completed my song. That's enough for me. Can I hear it? Uh, well... This old guy wants to hear it too. <laughs> okay, but just this once. The melody vanished into the endless fields of snow. Perhaps this would be our last time together. I could not help but smile as I recalled our first meeting. We stayed this way for a long time. Didn't I die? The dead don't always stay silent. Tell me, there must be a weak point in that gate. I'd never tell you. Hmm, I guess there are those of us who cling to hope even after death. But I'm sure I can find one soldier who has lost the will to fight. Yeah. Let's begin. How did you manage to hold them back? As you know, go Guerrilla. I don't know how to pronounce that word, guys. I'm sorry. Guerrilla. Guerrilla. Warfare is our specialty. Ali Alicia Alicia got out safely. I'm sorry, I mispronounced her name. Yes, she ought to be on the North Pass by now. Hope she succeeds. What? Did she truly abandon us in the end? She had no choice. She may be a transcendent, but she's not almighty. It's starting. Let's go. Before... 
What did you mean about snow being love? Huh? Oh, you mean back when we were still mercenaries? One day I realized we had covered the world in ash and destruction. I looked out at the chaos and found myself filled with revulsion for what we have become. But then, it started to snow. All of the ugliness, the sadness, was covered over in white, and the world was new again. It may not make any sense, but it was like forgiveness or... Love? Yes, like the gods had forgiven us for what we had made of their creation. Does that make any sense? In a way, yes. Good. Good. Let's prepare for the final battle. Our enemies are approaching. Shall we meet them in battle? Okay. Oh gosh, beware your ears, guys. are attacking the eastern wall. It won't have it won't hold out much longer. How did they know? <laughs> this is even easier than I expected. The eastern wall is falling. The enemy is overtaking us. No! Hold! Hold! The gate's coming down. Ah! Charge! They're rushing in. Ugh. Behind you. Ugh. Retreat! Retreat! No, not yet. Ugh. We need to fall back. We had to send up a signal from the Beacon Tower. Your pathetic attempts to fight won't stop us. Sir, the bridge will be overtaken soon. What about the blast? We send up the signal, but the blast team must have been intercepted. No. Is it really going to end like this? Where is Mylar? He should be inside the tower. Okay. Mylar? Are you okay? What's wrong? Stay back. It will disrupt the process. No, stop this, Mylar. They broke through. We failed. Don't sacrifice yourself, too. We're going to fall back, beyond the mountain range. No, it's not over yet. The lady visited before she left. Alicia? She had a message for you. As a transcendent and the mother of all life, I, Alicia, speak. You are forgiven of all your sins. So stop blaming yourself, Captain. She shared with me what low power remained of, remained of her. It will be complete in one hour. One hour! I'm not sure we can survive that long. In the end, she may have saved us all. 
Hayes? The blast team may, may have failed, but we've still got gunpowder. Gun I'll send off the blast myself to give you more time. What? But you'll never make it. I have to try. Time to go home. Hayes? Hayes! This will be my last battle. Fight, sir. No regrets. It's down to you, Mylar. One hour. I'll do everything I can to hold them off. Mm. Sir, Hayes just... We need to hold out long enough for Hayes to set off the explosives. If they take the bridge, we're done for. The bridge must be defended at all costs. Charge! Defend the, defend the bridge! Sir! There are too many of them. Sir, the mountainside! Hayes. He did it. Human. Lion King, focus. Looks like they were one step ahead of us. Weren't they going to blow up the bridge? Recall the troops. But we haven't even joined the fight yet. Everyone, charge! You, you would throw away the Black Mage's army so easily. Avalanche! Avalanche! Retreat! Get out of the danger zone! Sir, run! Sir? The boss has been swept away with the avalanche. Sir! <laughs> Sir! The enemy is still a threat. Stay in formation. Stay in formation. The beacon. How much time is left? About half an hour. Our enemies are everywhere. Time to go home. Sir? Fight to the very end. Charge! Charge! There was no hope of winning this battle. I was not blind. But I could not lower my blade. I owed the world far too much for that. When I realized I could no longer stand, no matter how hard I tried, I knew my end was not far off. Stop the enemy. It's finished. The beacon was activated. Victory is yours. What's your name? Ryu. 
You fought well, Ryud. So this is it. This is how my life ends. No one to witness. No one to remember. Vanishing beneath the falling snow. Brave heroes. It's all up to you now. I beg of you. Don't let our deaths be in vain. I'm here, Captain. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> what do you think? Look how much he's grown. Now, where should I begin? Well... Many people gathered at the site of the beacon you defended with your life. Among them were heroes powerful enough to go up against the Black Mage. A magician of light with a mysterious past. An invincible polearm warrior. Who's there? The Dragon Master, creator of this beacon. The unstoppable queen of the elves. Last of all, Phantom, the Master Thief. It was not without great sacrifice, but we finally succeeded in sealing him away. Oh, I just said we, didn't I? Yes, I helped too. I had to use up all my strength to do it. Did you know that? But don't read anything into it. I'm just a mother. It's my duty to protect my children, right? And I'm afraid I have some sad news. Hayes was found at the location of the blast. It seems he triggered the explosives manually. With all of the monsters around, I'm sure there was no other way. Myler was found next to the beacon. He exhausted all of his life force to speed up its activation. So, as your people would say, they've gone back home. You did well, Ryud. Now you can rest in peace too. It's time to go back home. I'll take your sword. That's all right, isn't it? Now it's time for us to say goodbye. You stay here in this world. Ryud risked his life to save it. There's no need for the Ark now. I don't know when the world will next be in danger, but I am certain another hero will arise. Well, that's the end to the story of Ryud, a wandering hero, even if no one remembers his name. I'm sure he'll be content with having saved many lives with his sacrifice. Goodbye, Ryud. And that was the end of it. Oh, 
I forgot that it actually got me emotional. Ow, my ears. I gotta be wearing the headphones this whole time. Come back to the real world. Oh god, my ears. My ears actually itch because I've been wearing these headphones the whole time. <sighs> also, I wonder who voiced Ryu's lines because I actually don't know his voice actor at all. I mean, it sounds familiar, but I don't... I don't know specifically who it is, if it's been listed or announced somewhere. He is a sacrifice from a world better place, yet no one knows her true her name. She would all the price. Hmm. The harp the transcendent of life received right before she left for a reeve. Who knows, maybe the harp is still in a reeve. Oh? Huh. Oh, does this unlock this quest? Let me check. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, right. Don't look at the, uh, thing. No? Hmm. I can't check. I swear it was a quest. Like, I remember something. Winter Bard. And also this, uh... Never mind. Uh... Hey, let me go check something real quick. Afterwards, uh, or I could check now. Hmm. Now we'll check after episode five because I will be switching characters when I do that. Okay, so yeah, that was the Winter Bard. Oh my God. Second time I did that one. I have not seen it again after I did it the first time, and well, that got me emotional. And I could tell who Alicia's voice actor is. Um, have anyone played, uh, let's say, Persona? franchise, you would know immediately who it is. Because her voice is quite recognizable, so, you know. <sighs> that made, emo made me emotional. Let's see. Okay, obviously next we have the Shadow Alchemist. At first, um, I'll say a couple things. One, um... Obviously, the arc that Alicia made is the Tower of Oz. I, will ha I think I will actually have to leave this place to show you guys. Oh. So, if you go on the map, it's the Undersea Tower of Oz is what that is. I felt like there was something that was like connected to that. Hmm. Huh. I guess I'll look it up uh, because in within the next two minutes because I'll be going on break in a bit. But yeah, so like the arc she made is the Tower of Oz, which is like this whole thing, um, dungeon that you can do pretty much any at any time. It's a uh, pretty difficult if you're not prepared. And you have to, like, be very, like... It, like, it requires a lot of, like, strategy, let's say that. Because you have to figure out what to do on each floor. And, of course, it goes by a time limit thing. And, uh, I have not gone in past a certain floor yet. So, I don't even know what floor it was because I did it a lot. And barely made progress. I'll say I think I stopped around 10 because I am bad at it, so... And also, she took- she obviously took Reed's sword, and if I'm right... Uh, let me check. Okay. I 
I don't know how I could search this quickly, but I think... Yeah, so, um... So, like, at a... Yeah, if you rank... Like, if you did the Tower of Oz, like, rank 2 and 1 specifically as a, a, a reward, um... An item you can get, actually. Um, from what I know, uh... Like, one of the... One of the items you could get is basically a reed sword. So, it's like... Like, it's all tied to that content, basically. Anyways, I'm gonna take a couple minute break. Since, you know, that was quite a lot of reading. And, uh, we're gonna be here all day, so... I'll be taking a short break, and I'll be back with the next story. Okay, I'm back. So, let me go check this one more time. Is it not available anymore, or I'm missing something? Because I just checked something, and it's like... Like, there's something? Or did I do the quest already? I can't tell. Um... Oh gosh, all these quests. Uh... Huh. I'm sure- I'm certain there is another quest. Because I literally just checked and there's apparently a, another thing. Maybe I had to finish? Or... Huh. Maybe it's not here anymore? I don't know. We'll check afterwards. Uh... You know what? Uh, I'll figure it out later. Uh... Anyways, let's just continue on because I thought there was like something extra. I think we'll- I think we'll- I'll check after doing this one on this character and then, uh, we could do, uh, this one. Anyways, this is episode 5, Shadow Alchemist. Everything about Shadow Vale is a lie. The world, the town, and the people exist only as figments of imagination. The missions they carry out are nothing more than a farce. Only the clear brilliance of moonlight can wash away the lies. And this one is obviously, um, if words are familiar, based on Zero's story. So, this is like right before the beginning of the prologue content, basically. So let's enter. See, so chose Shadow Mogus. Or do you see this moonlight story unfold? For Zero, it's recommended that you reach level 180 or higher before progressing. Eight. Eight. You aren't making sense. My name is Nine. The Potion of Truth. Three tablespoons of rainbow pink petals. Dried. Two teaspoons of glowing mushroom powder. One brimming ladle of frog spawn, double boiled. Last, one handful of moonlight. There's an old folktale that says no one can tell a lie when they're standing in moonlight. And neither dark rain clouds nor dense fog can obscure its brilliant light for long. So if there is ever a secret you truly wish revealed, seek out moonlight to uncover the truth. Moonlight will provide answers, no matter how cruel they might be. Episode 5, Shadow Alchemist. Fang. 
thing, wake up. Thing? Hey, Thing, wake up. Uh, what's the count this time? Glad to see you're awake. This is the eighth cycle. Ah. Now that everyone's finally awake, let's get started. Our target's name is Eight. Per usual, his memories have been reset. As far as he knows, our mission is to protect the town. In reality, we cannot allow Eight to get anywhere near the temple. He could corrupt it. So, it is imperative that we maintain the illusion of normalcy. Eight will wake up soon. Then let's wrap this up. Our mission as Shadow Knights is clear. We cannot allow the monster of the Umbra Temple to awaken, or the world will soon end in chaos and destruction. We will fulfill the duties assigned to us. And someday, we can return to the outside world. Someday. Always someday. When is that exactly? Oh my god, I forgot how heavy foregone conclusion this entire thing is. <laughs> I forgot. As, uh, as anyone knows from Zero's storyline, things don't actually change until that storyline. Exactly. So, until that actually starts. So, we know where this is going. Aren't you curious about it, Milo? About what? You mean the outside world? Yeah. Don't you want to know? We've got no memory before the mirror world. What did we look like before? Who were we? I don't know. I mean, I know it's just a mirror world to contain Eight's corruption, but this place feels more real to me than the outside world ever could. Being a medic is a bit boring sometimes, but I like it here. Well, except for that one person. You wouldn't be referring to me, would you? No, of course not. Whatever, just try to keep it down. If you medics draw some kind of monster here, I'm the one who has to deal with it. I can't imagine I, either of you doing anything but running around in a panic. Right, sorry about that. We work just as hard as you in training. Training? If you think those little training sessions are as good as real-world experience, then you're worse than I thought. Enough, Keen. We've got orders to return. Darklings will appear soon, and Eight's assigned to clear them out. Eight? Fine. We delivered the message. We did our job. Let's get out of here. Keen really needs to improve that attitude. You too, be careful. Don't forget to use a neutralizer if you run into a Darkling. Wouldn't want to turn your s turn into one yourself. Right. <laughs> eh, that would be horrifying. It's too bad we ran out of time. We didn't gather nearly enough materials today. Don't worry, I'll get the rest. Why don't you head back first? Sure, I can start cleaning up if you can get the last of what we need. We still need Moonlight Mushroom Powder items from- Okay. Okay, this time I will not, like, mute the sound effects, so we could just go, go straight into, like, all this stuff. And also- Oh, shoot. Oops. I tabbed out. Why does the window key have to be next to Alt? Okay. Oh yeah, also before I forget, I it I don't exactly remember too much when I first played this, but because I played it on my Angelic Buster, and of course, um you know, differences in character creation. Well it's not specifically the class I picked, that's more just like other things. But I think there's two different vocal tracks, like for Fang in this one. 
I'm not sure. I actually don't remember. I may need to check an undersource or play this on a different character to confirm it. But I feel like I remember things differently, is what I want to say. Anyways. Now that's done, I've got a chance to look around a bit. I'll just be really careful not to touch anything. Simple. Wow. Hmm? Huh. Nearly missed one. He's got some serious skill with a blade. It's hard to believe he's corrupted. I always admired his talent. Watching him fight was fascinating. Bold steps, swift slices of his sword, and unwavering confidence. Every battle was like a perfectly choreographed dance. I knew I shouldn't idolize him like that. After all, he was a corrupted being. And my sole purpose was to deceive him. Maybe I was like that in the outside world before I came here. Then again, maybe not. Mix in some finely ground deer antler, a pinch of sky licorice roots, a smidge of loach ice. Okay, this is disgusting. Huh. Done. Neutralizers are ready. Oh, it's gotten late. I should get moving. I'm also trying to remember something else. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing, like, the voice dialogue, and I'm like, who? is that? Sorry if I peeked the mic. Like, I'm like, who is this? Because I swear I re recognize them. Oh yeah, that's also the issue. I watch so- I hear so much English voice acting that it's starting to reach a point where I'm sometimes forgetting who's who. Um, which is definitely something. You can handle it, right, Eight? If you pull this off, you'll make S-Class. Of course, and I'll be even faster than last time. I expect nothing less. That's the end of the briefing. If there are no questions, then head to your assigned locations. S-Class? Psh. He'd believe- He'd believe any little croc she tells him, wouldn't he? What a joke. Don't let jealousy make a fool of you. You'll head out first. Let's move. Hey, Fang. Can you spare some neutralizer before we head in? Sure. Thanks, Emil. Why am I facing a different direction? You got it. Hmm. Isn't that ironic? The deceiver envies the envies the deceived. Huh? It's not like that. No, I understand. Compared to the medical corps, his work must seem quite glamorous to you. Little. What? Our mission is critical. The slightest mistake could end in disaster. We cannot harbor doubt, or have you forgotten that? No! I apologize. How does he always manage to make me feel like, I ch like a child? Oh, and one more thing. The Shadow Forest curse is getting stronger. It can be easily corrupted by that power, so be sure you keep your distance from any local vegetation or wildlife. Shadow Forest Curse. Yes, understood. This is for your own good. The safety of our team is our highest priority. Can 
to my little pet. Looks like the commander was giving, giving you a lecture. Yeah, he said I need to be careful because the force curse is getting stronger. I thought being a medic would mean we didn't have to worry about that stuff. Anyway, the mission's at Field 2A this time. I'll get there first and do the prep work, so take your time. Yeah, okay. Thanks. You got here fast. We need to clear out the Shadow Axe Dump monsters. There's so many of them that it's making it difficult to harvest silk mushrooms. But I just realized I forgot to bring the harvesting equipment. So why don't you take care of the monsters while I go get it? Sure, I will do that. Oh, and also, something I'm going to do. Like, between streams, or try to. I'm gonna try to figure out how to kind of adjust the mic better because I never really did that and considering what plans I have in the future, I really need to have a good quality from my mic. So that will be something I'll do. Okay, we're done. Now I can gather... I can just gather the materials. Huh? A floatstone butterfly? What a find! I've got to have it. It must have come through here. How pretty! What a nice place for a primrose to bloom. Oh, right. The commander told us to stay away from this stuff. But it doesn't look dangerous or anything. Maybe I could just look at it for a minute. It even has fruit. Such interesting fruit. No one's here. I won't get in trouble for admiring it for a minute. And it smells so good. I'll bet it tastes even better. Your aroma is mesmerizing. Evening primrose, beauty under the moonlight. What are you doing just standing there? Me? Standing? Uh... The commanders told us all more than... Told us all more than once to stay away from unfamiliar plants. I was just looking. I wasn't going to touch it. Well, I guess I don't blame you for being curious. But we should head back now. Wait. Did I just eat that? What was I thinking? So we apparently ate it. Okay. I don't know what came over me. What have I done? Will the shadow curse affect me now? I need to look at a reference book. Wait, now that I think about it, I don't... Why do you even want to eat a flower? Well, I mean... I don't know. I'm not too knowledgeable in that field. Oh, this is not good. I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. Hey, Fang! Hey! Come back! I was gonna make him bring me something to drink. Hmm... Hey, hey, 
Wait, you're not busy, right? Huh? Give me a cup of verbal tea, would you? I have something to munch on. I'm starving. Hmm. I suppose. Oops. Primrose, primrose. Here it is. The primrose flower blooms at night and withers in the morning. The reason for this unique behavior began with a girl who thought the moon more beautiful than anything else in this world. Every night, she wished that she could visit the beautiful moon somehow, but her wish never came true. A kind fairy noticed the girl's devotion and ensured that she would be reborn as a beautiful flower. Then the fairy named that flower Primrose. Now, the moon's beauty is reflected in every primrose blossom. What a sad story. But why is the next page blank? Is anyone here? Hello? Oh! Gosh, why noise in the background of my house? <sighs> so much for hiding. This must be oh no. <laughs> what is the music? This must be Keen's cup. Seems like the coast is clear. I'll just add a little something special to this string. A gift for me to Keen. <laughs> oh my god. Who's there? Oh. Hey, what did you see? You're the one in the medical corp. Bang, is that you? Yes, Bang. What? I didn't see anything, Mr. Eight, I swear. Why are you calling Mr. all of a sudden? You sure you didn't see anything? I'm sure I saw nothing, sir. You know, people say the dead don't talk, but I don't need to worry about that with you, do I? Ah. Oh my god, the music. <laughs> Relax, I was joking. Keen was annoying me, told me to fetch tea and, I don't know, peanuts or something. That was a joke. Well, since you're here, why don't you track down some peanuts for me? Me? But why? That leaves just one thing for me to do. I'll kill the witness. No, wait, uh, uh, I'll do it. I'm uh, sure this peanuts moves must be around here somewhere. Maybe there are some in the basement. Jeez, what is this music? Okay, it stopped. Because um, one thing I want to say is that I think I just realized who's the voice actor here for apparently Fang. Um, so I was just listening and I was like, it's so familiar. And I'm like, I know who the voice actor is, but I don't think he ever announced himself at all. <laughs> and it's so, I think this is only a prediction. A guess, a theory. I'm not completely sure because I don't think it's confirmed. But it sounds like a certain character from Fire Emblem Three Houses. And I'm just saying it sounds like. I'm not saying it is. Don't take me as the source of correction. This is just a guess because it does sound like him. I'm just saying it sounds like it. it could be someone else and I'm mistaken identity, but that's what it sounds like to me. What it seems to be. Just saying. Anyways, we are done. Let's let's go turn in these peanuts. Phew. Find everything you need? Wait, is that bug? Oh, I just realized it's gone. <laughs> Are you reading plants in their mysterious recipes? Uh, no, not at all. 
Uh, I was reading Desert Island, Three Course Survival Guide. But Myla doesn't like it when I use the books. I'll just put put it back really quick. Hand it over. Oh no. Primrose? Why does sudden an interest? I don't know what you're talking about. I ate nothing. <laughs> ate nothing? What? Please don't tell anyone. I'll tell you what. I'll borrow this book and think it over for a while. Wait. Please wait. Oh no, I'm ruined. Why did you blurt it out then? At least that bar didn't make me sick. I should probably report to the camp. I should probably report to the commander. I can't speak. Commander, are you there? Commander? Why are we on the table? <laughs> Thing, what brings you here? I have to tell you so- What's that? Ah, uh, you caught me. I was trying to surprise you. It's plans for a mirror that shows your true self outside the mirror world. Since you've been so interested in the outside world lately. You mean... That's right. I wanted to show this to you as a reward for all of your hard work and loyalty. Really? Unfortunately, it's not ready yet. But I should have it done by the time the next cycle ends. I'm just as curious as you are to see your true self. Thank you, Commander. But you're really going to have to keep your guard up. It won't happen if you make a mistake. If I make a mistake... So what was it you wanted to tell me? Uh, never mind. It's not important. <laughs> you forgot what it was, didn't you? Oh well, you have to go anyway. The briefing is about to start. We're just on a table. So it's like technically right here. Or something. I don't know. I couldn't work up the nerve to tell him. Maybe I don't need to tell him. It'll be fine. But what'll happen now that Ape knows about the primrose? Maybe if I just stay out of the way... Hey, Fang! Snap out of it! Huh? What? Stay focused. Eight, I understand you want to be teamed with Fang for this op. That right? Yes! What? In case my injury from the last mission gets any worse, I'd like to know there's a medic nearby who's got my back. Hmm. Uh, actually, I already have another assignment. You've got something more important than the la than the next mission? Oh my god, I can't read. You've got something more important than the next mission? Let me guess. Is it perhaps something to do with a flower? Prim oh my god. <laughs> Prim uh, primrose, was it? No, you know, I think I do want to go into the bat into battle. But a second ago, you said... Hmm. It's a good plan. Fang, you'll accompany eight. What? It's a good learning opportunity for you. Well, there you- there we have it. Guess you're working for me now. <sighs> I can't tell if that was meant to be like whispering or not. <laughs> because it seemed like no one else caught on to what it- um... Yeah. Get ready and meet me in the field. And hurry it up. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait, now that I think about it, is Zero... Zero should be creatable on Reboot by this point. Yeah, I'll check it out. I think. I don't know. I was a big... <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Anyways. And he's asleep. It looks like he's asleep. 
Maybe if I'm quiet, I could just... You're late. <laughs> it just took me a while to get ready. Why did you want me to go with you anyway? Because going by myself is boring, and you're the only one I trust. You trust me? Of course, we've both got secrets. Uh... A gift from me to Keen. <laughs> Not really. In reality, do not do that. Especially considering what is going on in present day. Oh, and if you tell anyone about this, you're dead. Since today's mission is just hunting animals in the forest, we've got it pretty easy. Now go hunt. He clearly expects you to do his job for him. So he's not the reliable hero after all. It was an act. Quit dragging your feet already. I'm part of the medical corps. I don't know how to fight. Even though we literally just did, like, several times. And if I get injured, I can't make more shade neutralizer. That would be a big problem for you. I just remembered I was in the middle of double boiling devil's tongue, too. I should hurry back and check on it, or, or it'll be ruined. It seems to be considering what you just said. Will he change his mind? Are you... Are you done yammering nonsense now? Get started! Aww. Okay. Hunt 204 monsters. Oh, this entire... This entire thing is just for a conclusion. I mean, it's no secret. I'm pretty sure every person who's played MapleStory has played through Zero Storyline by now. I'm just not saying anything until the end, because that's... Best left to talk about anyway. Okay, done. <sighs> done. Is it that book? It's the plant guide you were reading yesterday. Look, can you make this? The Potion of Truth? Potion of Truth. Three tablespoons of rainbow pink petals, dry. Two teaspoons of glowing mushroom powder. One brimming ladle of frog spawn, double boil. Last, one handful of moonlight. Effects. Clears falsehood to reveal truth. Well, that's weird. I don't remember seeing this before. I could have sworn that page was blank yesterday. What? It's nothing. I must have been looking at a different page before. But you just said it was weird. What about it? Nothing. Never mind. So can you make this or not? Hmm. It sort of looks like someone wrote it here as a prank, don't you think? And a handful of moonlight makes no sense. Look. Hmm. That's true. Okay, let's head back. Alright. Aren't you going to take this book? You put it back. Psh. My legs. This is what happens when you sit in a chair all day. I am stretching, by the way. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I could swear this page was blank before. Hmm. Clears falsehood? Clears falsehood to reveal truth. What does that mean? A handful of moonlight? More scribbling? I don't understand. I should stop worrying about it and get to work. What? Is this... Is this my handwriting? Hmm? When did I write this? I don't remember doing it. Hey, can you see?
see me over here? I guess now that we... I guess now that you've seen real battle, you don't think medical corps work is important anymore. That's not true. I'm sorry. What can I do? Just make me medicine, would you? I sprained my wrist. I can't believe I got injured on a supply mission. Okay. Here. <sighs> How's it so horrible every time? What are you trying to do to me? Every time, huh? Actually, now that I think about it, Weren't you injured in the last supply mission, too? And the one before that? What are you talking about? When? Well, you said every time. All this time, it was so obvious. Hey, Fang. Uh-oh, he's here. Uh-oh? That's not what I meant. We've got another mission. Hurry up and get ready. Hey, I asked for help first. Ah, Keen. Commander Kaisen was looking for you earlier. Said it was urgent. Did he finish sorting the, sorting the supplies? What? <sighs> Fang, I'll be back soon. Wait for me. Isn't Commander Kaisen out on the search mission? Shh. I was just trying to get rid of Keen. Let's go. You lied. Don't you think there might be consequences for that? Consequences? Are you really that afraid? Well, yeah. So, my assistant's a scaredy cat. Assistant? Never mind. Just go get some spiny puff bush sap. What for? Stop being nosy and go get it. I'll show you later. Why is it telling me to go up? Oh. Okay, finally we stopped the noise. <laughs> oh, it's like much louder than the rest of the thing. Okay, we're done. Let's go. Whew. I've got everything you need now. Good. Now just watch. You sent me there for nothing and got me in trouble. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Look at that. This can't be good. <laughs> Calm down. A little water never hurt anybody. But that was... Man, that was funny. Did you see the look on her... <laughs> well, the bucket might have blocked it, but still. Oh, I guess it was a little funny. <laughs> huh? New information. New information just appeared in the book. What? It may not be wise to share with eight just yet. What was the deal with that moonlight flower you were looking at anyway? glad I bumped into you two. Uh-oh. <laughs> Commander! Hello. Hello, Commander. If there's nothing urgent, might I borrow Fang's expertise? Of course. Fang, remember yesterday when you noticed something was weird? Uh, yes. Have you noticed no one here ever says that? No one points out when stuff is weird. It's kind of, you know, weird. I haven't really thought about it before, but I suppose that's true. Yeah, so I'm thinking anyone who points out that something is weird, anyone who doesn't blend in, we should probably keep an eye on them. Because if they don't fit in... Maybe they don't belong here. Maybe they're the person behind all the secrets in this place. Hmm. The one behind the secrets. What if it's Commander Will? There are a lot of reasons to suspect. But no, it can't be him. 
He's such a considerate person. <laughs> How can deceiving all of us possibly be to his benefit? Why are we on the table? And that's what happened. That must have been fun. I'm surprised to hear eight is like that. Anything else? I want to hear about everything, no matter how trivial. Well, I found a recipe for a potion of truth. Potion of truth? I remember it well from my past research. I had quite a bit of trouble with the handful of moonlight ingredient. It took a long time for me to come up with an alternative, but I never ended up trying it. Really? Why not? Maybe he thought of Primrose as an alternative, too. After a while, it seemed kind of pointless. Pointless? Yes, using alchemy to reveal truth. You don't find the practice a bit weird? Yeah, so I'm thinking anyone who points out that Sonny is weird, anyone who doesn't blend in, we should probably keep an eye on them. Maybe they don't belong here. Weird. Okay. I hadn't really thought about it before, but I suppose that's true. So, now that I've told you everything, am I free to go? Yes, well done, Fang. Oh, one more thing. I know I say this a lot, but... Questioning our purpose on this mission is treason. I hope you haven't forgotten that. Of course not. It will inevitably try to get into the temple, and he'll use our recipe for truth to try to bait you into helping him. Don't trust him. Right. It's definitely time to get out of here. Aren't you worried? Fang's curiosity about the truth could cause problems. I would be, but Primrose is just a flower. Its connection to the moon is nothing more than an old fairy tale. And anyway, it will wither the moment the moon sinks. Hmm. Milo, what are you doing here? I've got a message from Mate. He said he'll be waiting at the field. Thanks, Milo. Wait! What? You're, ta you're taking the shade neutralizer with you, right? course. Then why? Nah, forget I mentioned it. You already know you'll come back a darkling if you're not careful. <laughs> Thanks for the reassur reassurance, Milo. Okay, let's go. He's actually sleeping this time, right? Late again? How do you know every time? If I tell you, it'll take all the fun out of it. But maybe I will if you're really nice to me. I'm already really nice to you. Okay. What is this place anyway? It's the same place you've been visiting to spy on me. What? I was just here for the primrose. That's it. Huh. It really is fun to mess with you. But I'm telling you the truth. Sure, sure. Just go hunt darklings for now. We've got to complete our mission for today. Darklings? Me? Yeah, you can handle it. You're strong. Strong enough that I have to wonder why they're wasting our strength on grunt work for the medical corps. You really think so? I don't know if we should be wasting time chatting like this. Why haven't you left yet? Oh, right. Let me just drink some neutralizer and I'll get going. Hmm? Why does it taste so weird all of a sudden? Hmm. Okay, let's go do this. Real quick.
Okay, we're done. And also, um, to also mention again, I don't know if I mentioned it already. I will only do four and five on this session because I'm realize it's already like three hours and it's pretty long, so. Like, I'm assuming the next one will be quite lengthy, probably hour and a half, so I'll save it for another stream. I'm done hunting. What's that look on your face for? Oh, uh, the leftover shade neutralizer turned into plain water. So that's why you're different from the others. What? The primrose fruit. It's counteracting the neutralizer. What are you talking about? Follow me. I have, so I have something to show you. This place is... I got what you needed. Crushed rainbow pink petals, glowing mushroom powder, devil boiled frog spawn. Or the potion of truth? Really? Yep, even the primrose blossom. Now you have everything you need, right? The thing is, the primrose blossom is just a substitute for moonlight. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Well, it can't hurt, right? True. I hope it works okay. Even if it doesn't, it's too late to back out now. Besides, you're curious too, aren't you? What is wrong with me? I shouldn't doubt the mission. What am I going to do? Look, if you can't do it, just watch. I'll do it instead. Hang on. I'll do it. You might accidentally ruin it. I'll get everything prepped. Okay. Three spoons of dried, crushed rainbow pink petals, two spoons of glowing mushroom powder, one ladle of frog spawn, double boiled, and last, primrose. Ah, where did those come from? Stand back, Fang. Ah. Eight! I'm okay. Get ready to fight. Eight! They're going for the flower. Time to fight. But you need neutralizer. Don't you get it? The neutralizer's a lie. It's just a, po a potion to brainwash us. What? How? Oh god, it's loud. Stay focused. Here they come. That was really loud. Are you okay, Eight? I knew it. The neutralizer was a lie. Everything is. Wait, do you hear that? A woman's voice. Come to the temple? That's the voice I heard. Let's go to the temple. I've got to see this with my own eyes. It will inevitably try to get into the temple, and he'll use that recipe for truth to try to bait you into helping him. Don't trust him. It's just like the commander said. But the neutralizer turned out to be a lie. If you lied about that, what else is he hiding? What's the truth? <sighs> they took the primrose. You have to go after them. That's no longer necessary. What? But... The one that took it escaped a while ago. We'd be searching the forest all night if we tried to find it now. It doesn't matter. You said yourself it was, it was only a substitute. Does it matter? I know that flower isn't really the moon. 
But if I can somehow revive the last stem we've got, then maybe... <sighs> What's happening to my hand? The moment you touched the flower, the shadow curse started to take over. Leave the flower. We already know where to go. After all these precautions, the curse got to me anyway. I... can't. What? That's enough. I'm going back. Wait, Fang! Do what you want, but your threats won't work on me anymore. Why are you being like this? I don't understand. The commander was right. Never doubt the mission. You just want to use me to get what you want. You just drag me around while you look for whatever truth it is you're, you think you're going to find. Well, I'm tired of it. Fang, wait! I'm sorry. What? I wasn't trying to use you. I thought we could be friends, but I messed up. Friends? Are you serious? I apologize for everything. For all the threats and the teasing. All of it. That... That does still doesn't mean I'll go to the temple with you. I know. And I never try to force you to go. I'm not that selfish. Why don't we head back to town for now? The temple isn't going anywhere. Friend. I thought I was being used. Just like the primrose we left behind. But that word... Friend. After he said that, well... I realized that was the only real thing of value in this whole place. Everything else was a lie. That's when I knew there was only one way to learn the truth. Okay, in all seriousness, I swear that voice actor is who I think it is. <laughs> If only the... I don't know, like, they started crediting the voice actors more often, like, properly, like, around, uh, Tenebris. So this was, like, prior to it, I think. Wait, was it? Nah, I actually don't know, and I don't want to check because that would take too much time. Okay. Ah, the book is writing itself again. What happened to my hand wasn't a curse. Now I'm sure the truth is in that temple. If it's not a curse, then what is it? The truth is in that temple. It's sure to go straight there. I'll check there first. Okay. I'll, I'll look it up afterwards. Because I want to stay immersed in the story. The foregone conclusion is very strong with this. We need to enter the Umbra Temple to find the truth.
This is no monster. It's just a girl. Was everything a lie? Fang, why did you come here? Commander, why are you here? Please, tell me the truth. Why did you lie to us? I guess I can't help it. Why don't I show you the truth you were so desperate to learn? See for yourself. Is this me? Yes, you are merely a creature of the mirror world. A darkling, no more. In the outside world, you're nothing. You can never leave this place. No. I tried to warn you. Uncovering the truth doesn't matter. It changes nothing. I thought you didn't know how to fight. Everyone should have at least one trick up their sleeve. Now, will you listen to me? Huh, talk all you want. I already know it's nothing but lies. The Shadow Knights were created to seal you. The endless time loops, the pointless monster hunts, it was all to keep you distracted, to prevent you from awakening as a transcendent. The monster sealed the number temple are you and this girl. What? That doesn't make any sense. Eight. Now you're trying to control me with hostages. Not exactly. Fang, why don't you enlighten him? Everything the commander said. Fang? Drink the neutralizer, Eight. I don't believe you. Fang, tell me yourself. Is this true? I... How do you like the truth you tried so hard to come to uncover? How do you like knowing who made you? How you came to be? You lied to me. You lied to all of us. You used the mirror in the hope of the outside world against us. And the whole time, I had no idea. No need to get upset. I can still make that happen. As long as you do exactly what I say. The moonlight you wanted. The truth. Eight, it's true. You had to drink the neutralizer. Okay, I trust you. I know I can always trust you, Fang. Uh... Eight? Don't worry, your friend will be fine. This will just ensure he's your friend forever. Well done, Fang. Who am I? Your name is Nine. You are a member of the Shadow Knights. You have vowed to always carry out the Knights' mission without question. My name is Nine. I am a Shadow Knight. I will always follow orders. Thank you for all your hard work, Fang. Again. Again? This has happened before? Of course it has. Your choices vary a little each time, but it always ends the same way. Now, it's time to return. We need to prepare your potion of neutralizer as well. Ah, yes. We will get into the discussion later, but for now, let's, uh, stay immersed in the story. Oops. A note. Did Aid leave this before you went to the temple? Sorry, my friend. I can no longer ignore the voice calling me to the temple. Since I may not see you again, I'll tell you how I always knew when you were nearby. It's quite simple, really. There was an unusual scent about you. It wasn't until later that I learned the scent was Primrose. 
I hope you like my gift. Eight. A primrose? He must have searched the entire forest for this. What was he thinking? I can't take this. I'll just leave it in the drawer here. Why are there already flowers in here? They must be from pre the previous cycles. He... He called me his friend every time, and every time I betrayed him. Some friend I am. If you count, there's exactly seven in there. What have I done? I had to get to the commander's office. Also, familiar voice actor! And I know exactly who it is, considering he voiced even more characters during the Glory update. Why are we on the table? <laughs> for some reason. I thought I told you to wait for me. The book. Was that you all along? So, you're not as dumb as I thought. You're partially right. I planted it, but you yourself added a note in previous cycles. I'll accept the last page. I added that little detail. I remember. Once the seed has been planted, doubt grows like a weed. In the end, it chokes the mind entirely. No potion in the world can stop it. <laughs> but if you distract the mind with a single anchor of truth, the roots of doubt will never truly take hold. It was me. I was the anchor. Yes, and it's worked out very well for us. As long as he trusts you, he'll drink the neutralizer every time. So everything was a lie after all. Even your promise to make me real. It's all lies. Did you really think I'd let you out of here? But your plan isn't working. You can't even control your own illusion. See, it's doubt and corruption has finally spread to your mind as well. If you want to keep that fake, pathetic little life of yours, you will do as I say. Apologies. I let my emotions get the better of me. What's wrong, Fang? You're trembling. Nah. <sighs> I think it's time you return to your quarters. Milo will bring the neutralizer. Actually, Milo made an especially big contribution in this cycle. I should reward him for it. The only way to figure out... To figure all of this out is with the Potion of Truth. You've got to go to Moonflower Hill. It should be past the left side of town. Of town. I guess the cycle... <sighs> Fang, stop. Seamus, Keen, we have orders to eliminate you if you try to leave the town. Fool, you should have gone straight to your quarters like you were told. Fang, if you just drink the neutralizer, nothing bad will happen. Back off, I don't want to hurt you. Looks like the weakling Fang has suddenly decided he's brave. I just realized they're kind of level um, equivalent. Because if you noticed. No way! How? I need to go to Moonflower Hill. The Potion of Truth is our only chance.
Three spoons of dried crushed rainbow pink petals, two spoons of glowing mushroom powder, one ladle of frog spawn, double boiled, and last, a handful of moonlight. Eight. The primrose may not be a proper substitute for moonlight, but it gave me the clue I needed to find the truth. My existence here is just an illusion. And this is the only thing I can do for you that's real. So I had to make it count. The potion of truth is our only chance. I'm impressed, Fang. You actually figured out how to harness moonlight. But you know this is a mistake. You must have figured out what will happen if you drink it. Yes. I'll take my true Darkling form. Well, if you already know, then you must be planning to bring that to eight. But y will you still do it if I make things difficult for you? The only choice I can see is to keep fighting. If that's really what you want, I won't stop you. Shall we begin? Scripted. Oh god. Scripted battle of not failing, basically. Just survive. <laughs> Shade neutralizer and potion of truth. Is it really that hard to choose between the two? I will give you one more chance to make the right choice. Give me a chance. Huh. You must choose now. Drink the neutralizer and start a new cycle as Fang, or learn the truth and disappear forever. If you choose your old self, I'll make sure you get everything you've ever wanted. Within the mirror world, of course. <laughs> Amused, are you? No, I just think I've heard enough nonsense from you. What? You don't get it. I don't care what it takes. I'll never betray my friend again. I won't help you trick him anymore. I'll never be real, or know the moon's truth. But that's okay. This will be enough. You had voluntarily become a Darkling just to save him. the great one says that will make it much more difficult for me to keep nine fooled but i've already fulfilled my role in all role in all of this despite the complications i've done far better than expected so why do i feel this way eight what is this who's talking Eight. I can't understand you. Who are you talking to? My name is Nine. Mm. What's happening? That thing came out of nowhere. Go to the temple. I didn't even drink the neutralizer. How am I still okay? Unless... Unless the neutralizer doesn't actually do anything. But why would we be taking it if it's a fake situation? Fake solution? There's an old folktale that says no one can tell a lie when they're standing in moonlight. And neither dark rain clouds nor dense fog can obscure its brilliant light for long. 
So if there is ever a secret you truly wish revealed, seek out Moonlight to uncover the truth. Moonlight will provide answers, no matter how cruel they might be. The scent of primrose. That reminds me of something. The end. It just ends, guys. It just ends. Aww. It literally just ends. Aww. Yeah, that's a sad one. Because, you know... Oh, I got a chair. Oh, this one gives me a chair. Oh, okay. So I think the Winter Bard one was an event chair. So you don't get one. From completing that. Aww. And that was it. Of Shadow Alchemist. And as you all know, since that was right before the start of Zero's prologue, um, you know that this was the cycle before, like, um, Alpha, find, like, me finds Beta and, you know, their story begins. <sighs> and of course it's sad because, you know, all the foregone conclusion, the fact that he willing, that, uh, Fang willingly corrupted himself, returned to the return to his true form was, you know... I'm gonna switch characters real quick to check this because I swear there was like... Huh. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do, uh, the, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Uh, <laughs> I apologize, but, uh, I actually keep forgetting. Hey, I'm not going to do this until, uh, next time, because that, it's already, like, three and a half hours, and this was pretty lengthy, so. But, uh, let me go change characters real quick to see this. Uh, where is it? Gran Athenaeum? Oh god, so many things. Food for the soul. I swear there was like one. Yeah, okay, there is a quest. I just wanted to check. Is there anything? Oh, there is! Okay, I just had to check. I I wanted to confirm on my main to see if the quest existed. So yeah, after the thing, this quest becomes available to ask about the harp. Empress, I found something strange. Oh? What's this old-fashioned harp? That... It's a memento that belonged to the prior empress. It sounds like there's something inside of it. A piece of paper. Oh. Aw. It says, Song of Wandering Heroes. Bard. Ryud? Yeah, and that unlocks that in Aloyal, which I don't think I could go there easily. Because I... Yeah. So, yeah, that was just something short I want to show off that you could do if, um, after... Yeah. What is this? Oh, that's something else. <laughs> yeah, so that was something I wanted to show... Oh, okay, uh... Careful... I wanted to be careful where I clicked, so, um, nothing shows up. Anyway, so yeah, that was something a little bit short to show off that you could do after, um, after the, uh, the thing. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to... Sh now showed up next stream. Okay. So, uh, that'll be all for today's stream. I... T Again, I did say I would do, like, 4, 5, and 6 today, but, uh, 4, four and 5... As I said, like, it seems like the later ones are much longer than the first three. So, uh, I don't want to do the sixth one today because I'm going to be here for another half an hour. Like, hour and a half. So, I'll save it for a separate stream. And, uh, go from there. So, yeah. This was the second time I experienced Winter Bard and Shadow Alchemist. And they were quite emotional. Um, I feel like with them making things more cinematic, it makes you more involved. Like, more immersed into the story. So... Um... Yeah, that's what, uh, like, that's what the first three should get at some point in the future. I hope Camus considers revamping those a little bit to kind of... You know, polish them up, make it more cinematic, like how 4 and 5 are, and as well as 6, once I actually see how that plays, how that one plays out. Also, I'm gonna check real quick when 4 and 5 were released. Uh, when was it? Okay, this doesn't help me. Oh my god, I'm getting so many YouTube notifications. Oh, so this, so episode four came with the, uh, it came with the Nova update, which was, it was in December. Okay, December 2019. Why the music remains so interesting. <laughs> I'm looking at the page that had this announcement and they didn't have the words that said Ryud at the end of it. Hmm. Huh. I think they did it to kind of hide the spoiler. Um, technical spoiler, I guess. Okay, that was uh, December 14th, 2019 when that came out because the Nova update. Wait, was the Nova update December 2019? Wait, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. That was, no, it was like, wait, what? I think it did that. Hmm. No, it was 2018, I think. Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting timelines confused. Uh. Ignore what I just said, guys. Ignore it. I'm wrong. <laughs> I forgot what it was. No, it was 2018, right? I'm confused. Wait, no, that's six. Uh, wait. Ignore that one. That's... Uh... I... Okay, no. Episode 5, Shadow Alchemist came in the arc. Where is these things? Uh... Gosh, I, we need to, to be fair, this entire year has made time really strange for me, so I'm literally forgetting. Okay, no, it was this, it was 2017. What am I saying so 20? Maybe I just misread my own completion on the quest? Or I figured that out. Wait, no, I think that particular quest I did it way later than I thought I did. Um... Okay, this is just now a mess of me confusing the heck out of what the timeline of any of this is. <laughs> like, when these were released. So, I apologize. Okay, so, the Nova update, which was episode 4, Winter Bard, came out in December of 2017. The, um... What's the arc update? I forgot. The ARC update came out in 2018 for Global in the summer. And that was the Shadow Alchemist as well. So that is... Oh god, the lag. Okay, Shadow Alchemist came out in the summer of 2018. Okay. We got the timeline cleared up because December of 2018 was Tenebrous, if I'm correct. Yeah, because ARC was in the cutscene. And it was before Pathfinder, so. And then you had that update, the uh, Adventure update with Pathfinder. And then you had the Glory update, which was December of 2019. And then 
And then Adele in the Rise update. Oh yeah, Glory update had Ho Young. And here we have the Awake update. It's just December 2020. And next update, which will which KMS is get getting right now, is the Neo update, and that is when we'll get another new class in the game. Okay, we got the timeline sorted. <laughs> Gosh. Always be careful when you're searching, babe, by the way. If you're gonna search when they come out in updates, make sure to look at the date of the update. Because I got confused and thought it was 2019. It's not. Why did I think that? Uh, I'm a mess. Apparently, I think I misread the 9 as an 8. I don't know. Anyways, the point being, that'll be all for today's stream. We did episode 4 and 5. I was going to do episode 6 today, but I read the dialogue, so it takes time to do the entire thing anyway, so... Next time, I'm gonna do the sixth one, which is newly released on my main. We're gonna do that. And, uh... Yeah, that'll mostly be it. And maybe if I have extra time, I could play... Create... You know, play as a Zero character again. Like, create a new one. Since, uh... I think it's one per world. And obviously, um... I already have one in Scania, but, you know, we'll figure out the details later. For now, that'll be all. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>